with traditional classroom setups, the last time that we redesigned classrooms was when we were in the United States, at least, we're preparing kids for the Industrial Re Revolution. And so we were getting them ready to work in factories. And so our classroom design really mirrored that. We matched that to get them ready for that. Um, and so that was in the late 1800s. And now here we are in um, 2018, and many classrooms are still looking like that, and yet we're not really preparing kids for the Industrial Revolution anymore. In fact, we're preparing them for the unknown. We don't know what kind of jobs these kids are going to have, but we know the kind of skills that they're going to need. And so um, I started, started thinking about um, how can I make my classroom more um, open, collaborative, um, safe, comfortable, feel more like home, um, and less like I'm preparing kids for an Industrial Revolution. And so um, I think that um, traditional classroom setups just maybe don't allow for as much collaboration or um, cooperation as I would hope, um, because just how they're simply set up really um, aims more for kids working in isolation to prepare just only for themselves. And so um, I think there's a lot that goes into it, um, but I think that's sort of the basis.